So I had the opportunity to teach English in China. I had two jobs. I was the English chair at the French German expatriate school for foreign kids that were living with their parents in China, in Shanghai. And I reached out to Johnson and Johnson and I got a part-time job where I was teaching business English. And just the travel to and from these jobs, either with a taxi or with a chauffeur driver or in a minibus with other employees from Johnson and Johnson, I really learned a lot about Chinese culture and the way they look at life and the way they look at health and healing. For example, you're probably aware that in China, there's been tremendous devastation from natural disasters and famines. And there's a lot of people there and it's really hard to feed a country of 1.5 billion people. So the greeting in Chinese, we say, how are you? How's your day going? They say, chi fan. Chi fan means, have you eaten rice? Have you had rice? That is the quintessential greeting in China to where people are checking on each other and asking, have you eaten? Have you had your rice? So I found that very fascinating. <laughs> All right, rolling. Because Western medicine is not available so much in China, and they use a different traditional practice that is six or 7,000 years old, it's based on things from nature. Their quote unquote pharmaceutical drugs are actually herbs. They're bark or roots or leaves that are taken from nature and made into concoctions. And they don't call them pharmacies, they call them dispensaries. So that, that was another interesting thing to note about Chinese medicine. And uh, of course, as we have learned in recent times, Chinese people wear masks quite often in public because of seasonal flus and colds. They don't want to be spreading their germs, nor do they want to be picking up other people's germs. And this is decades old, this custom of wearing face masks in public. Other things about China are the shopping is also different. They, they do have department stores now, and, and believe it or not, KFC is widespread in China. There's a lot of uh, Western fast food nowadays. But the traditional meals, the traditional eating, uh, food is prepared in a very different way where the cook really takes a lot of time meticulously chopping the vegetables, very small, very tiny, and it'll take two or three hours to cook a family meal. Uh, in, our, in our country today, we, we take about six minutes to heat something up in the microwave. So that's a big difference as well. I know that there are some very dedicated chefs and uh, there's a lot of cooking shows on TV and that's a big pastime. But most people in our society are pretty stressed and running late all the time. And therefore, whether it's fast food from a restaurant or fast food in the microwave, that's become more or less the way of life in our, in our Western society. So these are just a few nuggets to take away from my experiences being overseas. If you have a question that we have not answered up till now, put the question down below. We will make a video for you.
If you found the content useful, please like the video, subscribe, and click the little bell for notifications. <laughs> please use the comments section below to ask any questions or leave any comments. We're happy to help. Hit the like button, do the subscribe button, do the little notification bell. You can give feedback. You can tell me you love me, you hate me, whatever you want. Let's do it. Hey, I want to congratulate you for sitting through and listening and learning. Over here we have the video library. It is called the Knowledge Library. Chock full of really interesting things that you can continue learning. Congratulations on your journey to optimal health. Over here, we have the Knowledge Library where you are welcome to dive in and keep learning.